Hello, my name is Arun Gupta and I work for Sun Microsystems. In this screencast, I will show you how NetBeans IDE provides an excellent and integrated environment for developing, running and debugging a Rails application on GlassFish v3 Prelude. Let's get started. The screen now shows NetBeans IDE 6.5 that comes bundled with GlassFish v3 Prelude and is pre-configured for you. Let's create a simple Rails application here. Right click, new project, Ruby, Ruby on Rails applications. Click on next, choose a name, Glassfish V3 rocks. Notice it is using the bundle JRuby 1.1.4 and the server is chosen as V3 Prelude. Click on next, let's specify the database information directly. We're going to be using MySQL database. It automatically populates the database name for you. Click on Next. It's using the bundle Rails 2.1.0 and then we click on Finish. The NetBeans IDE happily generates all the Rails application files and then finally opens up the project. Let's right click on the project and generate a simple scaffold and call the model name as runner and specify couple of attributes distance is float and time is integer we click on OK And once again, NetBeans IDE generates all the relevant files for us. Now, let's right click on the project and create the database. So we say run debug rake task and we specify create. This is going to run db colon create, which basically creates a database for the current Rails environment, which is development for us. So we click on run. The database is now created for us and then we right click again and let's migrate the database to current version. And the database is now migrated for us. Let's try to run this application. So right click and say run. As you can see, Glassfish v3 Prelude is getting started the application is getting deployed and finally the browser window shows up the default page if we type runners which was the model name, we'll see the default page. We can easily create a new runner, enter a distance, let's say 10 miles, and enter the time with the 8 minute pace, that would be 80 minutes. Click on create. Go back. You can see a standard scaffold. Let's say we create another runner. This time the distance is 12 miles and again with 8 minute pace is 96 minutes click on create runner is successfully created go back and you see how a Rails application can be very easily created and run using Glassfish v3 let's see how we can debug this application switching to NetBeans IDE let's stop our server right click on the project click on debug we indeed want to debug the server-side sources. Click on debug. And now Glassfish v3 is starting on port 8081 in the debug mode. The default page shows up for us. Let's type runners. And we see exactly the same output. Now go back to NetBeans IDE and set up a breakpoint. Expand controllers, runners controller, 
scroll down in the new method set up a breakpoint and go back click on new runner and at this point of time our breakpoint has been encountered so if we switch back to IDE we see this is indeed green and we also see the debug toolbar being enabled here and we can see a lot of other output tabs also click on local variables you can see all the global variables initialized by rails you can see self which is a runner's controller and they're all displayed in a nicely nested manner you can see the entire call stack each file and the corresponding line number and the, all the frames are being nicely displayed as you hover over each frame it shows you the exact file that is opening up for example if you click on sqlcache.rb the file shows up and it shows even the line number we can nicely enable the line numbers this way we can close this file or go down further open up another file now this is coming from the rails framework and it again shows the line number and the file we can very easily step over step into or step out let's say we want to step into it takes us into the respond to method and it will run us through the entire debugging process we can step over and then hit continue in which case the output shows gets shown up in the browser window our page is now shown here let's say we want to enter the distance 6 because it's a shorter distance we can think we can complete it in 7 minute pace so make it 7 and 6 42 minutes click on create and the runner was successfully created we click on back and all the results are shown here nicely displayed so we showed you how easy and intuitive it is to create run and debug a rails application using NetBeans on Glassfish v3 finally I would like to leave you with some pointers switching to slide you can download Glassfish v3 from sun.com slash Glassfish v3 NetBeans IDE 6.5 can be downloaded with NetBeans.org and comes bundled with Glassfish v3 everything about Glassfish and Rails and other dynamic languages can be found at glassfish-scripting.dev.java.net blogs.sun.com slash the aquarium is the place where we can find the latest and the greatest news about Glassfish stories is another blog entry which talks about all the production deployments of Glassfish Glassfish for business tells you about why you should purchase subscription for Glassfish and finally you'll see the screencast hosted on my blog which is blogs.com slash Arun Gupta thank you